Today, I embark on a mission. But just before we do that, as promised, here is the very, very brief apartment tour with Merlin reveal. If you haven't seen the live stream. Door, hallway, kitchen, bathroom, the tiny spare room where we have Merlin's kitter box. I mean litter box. Cupboards, bedroom, everything from Ikea. My desk and living room. But basically, all we wanted to do was just say hello to Merlin. Hi Merlin. Hello. This is Merlin. She is cat. She is wonderful. It's her sleepy time, so she's a bit sleepy. Oh, stretches. And look at those cute little paws. More Merlin. And that's about it. Apartments in Vancouver are extremely expensive, so... We can only afford a one-bedroom place to rent. Hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy, enjoy Merlin licking herself. Right, now that's over with. We're back on Hearts of Iron 4, as per usual. Also, I've just seen Drew's 200k special, and I really hope he sends me that hair so I can make a wig out of it. I want to know what it's like to have hair again. Today, I believe we're going full-on uh, meme. Although you can't even see what... Oh no, what have I done? You can't see what the name of the country is. Hold on, I'll have to re let's load the game. Okay, loaded back in. Today, we're going to be playing the Australian-Hungarian Empire mod. Hey Eden, come look at my country. Yeah, it's the Australian-Hungarian Empire. Okay. That's right, someone has decided to make an Australian-Hungarian Empire. So while we wait for the new DLC to arrive, if you've got any challenge ideas or any video ideas whatsoever, let me know in the comments below because it's... Otherwise, it's just going to be Eden roasting me for the next two months. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. Well, that's not staying in. <laughs> so, I think we'll make the Australian-Hungarian Empire as large as possible and prove once, once and for all that I have a massive empire. A massive empire. What's up with you and trying to be massive all the time? So as per usual, we have Iron Man mode on, because I can't believe people still think I cheat. Look, here we go. There's even a save. Ignore that one in February. That was what that was just testing it earlier. There we go. Initializing game. And now we are in That's not something you'll be saying to me later, unfortunately. So who is leading our brave nation of Australia, Hungary? It's John Curtin. That it sounds quite Australian. We are fascist. Which is good. However, we are only on civilian economy. And we have random other country divisions in here. That's annoying. We do, however, have 85 factories, 60 civilian and 24 military, and one whole naval dockyard. And what can we do with that? Convoys. However, we only have two research lots. Which is going to be a problem. Currently, our forces are going to be led by Fenwick, Fakatalhami, Snoodididida. I, I, I think that's very incredibly mispronounced, but... We need a field marshal, we need a field marshal. Oh, no, there they go, they go back to their own country. Oh, that's good. So, of course, it would be great if you could help out the channel. Leave a like. Every like may result in another Eden roast at some point, so I'm sure you'll want to hear those. Apparently, I'm producing outdated equipment. However, whenever I click on something, it, it seems like I'm not. So, I d Oh, dear. Uh, we do only have a basic focus tree, which is annoying. I do like having a custom focus tree. But it'll be interesting to see what Austria can make of itself down in old Australia. I don't have any military staff either, which is always which is always great. <laughs> oh, I do actually have some political advisors. However, they're just the base ones. And I also have no ability to get a theorist either. <sighs> so while I have a lot of factories to begin with, it really is just an absolute mess the rest of the mold at least anyway gonna head to partial mobilization straight away now what is my reasoning for going to war of yugoslavia basically there is none i was just gonna gobble them and no one can really stop me at the moment at least with one percent well tension that gives us the chance to gobble a couple of other minor nations all righty let's have a gobble of yugoslavia now do i join the anti common term pact um, would i as australia hungary want to do that Probably, yes, we'll do that. So while I'm trying to build up my empire, let's have a look at what Austria's up to. Not a much, but they're going fascist. Ooh, Germany has performed the Anschluss of Austria. It hasn't affected me, 
but they do now own all of Australia. All of Australia is now controlled by Mr. Hitler. Well, that's a blow. France have banned communism and they've joined the Allies. I'm just preparing for a war against the Axis because I'm not going to join them and it's probably in my best interest to help the Allies to defeat them. But it's going to be an uphill battle. I'm just trying to build forts. Lots and lots of forts. That makes sense for the Australian-Hungarian Empire. But if you take a look at my manpower, and I'm only on limited conscription, that's pretty, pretty thick. Oh, and Italy's just made it official, and they've joined the Axis. Oh boy. Sorry, I should have said, crikey, mate. They have a lot of giddily gone troops on our border. Nope, that's still an English accent. Hmm. I'll need to work on that. Oh, looks like they're doing Danzig or war now. They already have war goals. Oh. They already have a war go on me. They didn't tell me that. And I've just realised my fort line is messed up. Because if they take Poland... Oh no. I have to... Oh, please hold on, Poland. Please hold on. And because it's on Iron Man, I can't reload the save and justify earlier. I have royally screwed myself here. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So we've managed to muster 1.5 million men for the Australian Hungarian Empire. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, and they're at war with the Allies too, which is very good, very, very good. Thank you, Germany, for messing that up. So let's do a grand advance and see if we can push against Great Germany. Gosh, I'm such a rhymer. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to Germany, but they, they seem to have just crumbled. They couldn't even take out Poland. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Oh my. Well, in order to make the, the meme complete, I think I'm going to take back Australia. Oh. No. No, that's not okay, Mr. Stalin. That's not okay. My, my capital is now Canberra, so I don't think I can capitulate unless they take that. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, amazing. Oh, yeah. Come and get me, Stalin. Oh, no. Oh, this is a big problemo. I can't deploy troops in... Oh. Damn it! Australia's turned back into my home country, so I have to deploy units here and ship them. Oh. The German Republic declared war on me. What is happening? And why can't I just be left alone? Right, so I'm in dire need of resources, and Poland has a lot of steel, and I need steel. So I'm going to try and take out them with the, res with, the, with the forces that I have under my command. I'll also try and hold Romania. Oh, good. We capitulated Poland. Very nice. Took all of the states. Very nice indeed. Now I somehow need to form a panic line against the Soviet Union. And that's the German Republic destroyed. So now I'm in a very desperate struggle against the Soviets, of which I am not winning at the moment. Not winning at all. So they've advanced a bit quickly. So some of my divisions are in circle, but so are some of theirs. Uh, so I'm going to go for a grand push, see if we can somehow save my encircled 30 divisions. Oh boy. It's rather precarious at the moment. I, I, I've taken a big dent, however, they're, they're up to 4 million casualties, so... Maybe? Maybe I'm, I'm capable of winning this? Oh my god. Mr. Stalin, limited conscription, still has 9 million manpower. Oh, ugh. This whole game feels upside down. I've never actually struggled too much against the Soviet Union before. But this, this is just something else. Six million Soviets dead now. Good lord. Well, it appears Japan wants to create a faction with me called Fosters and Dingoes. So that's what we shall create. The dawn of Fosters and Dingoes. Ah, good. Where they once encircled me, I now encircle them. So the, uh, the Soviets have now pretty much collapsed, so the Australian-Hungarian Empire will expand even more. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, there we have it. Fosters and Dingoes has become the most powerful faction in the world. And the Australian-Hungarian Empire not only has one motherland, it has two. So if you've enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like and all that jazz. 
And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day! Many thanks to ISORO Productions, Sam, Travis, Miss Lexicon, Blade, Super Gibson, Logan, The Danimal, Zazzy, Jared, Gareth, Nico, Friendship, Conway, Red, Carndog, and Wyatt for being ridiculous Ram supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. 